Good afternoon to everyone. I'm Maria Giulia De Donno, and I'm here on behalf of the Decarbonization and Energy Transition Committee. Today, we would like to present and to launch our new event program, whose title is for practical steps towards the energy transition. We know you're going to be super interested. And in these slides, you have all the details and the level of depth that our section is, uh, has reached on the topic of sustainability, decarbonization, energy transition, and net zero readiness. Um, we would like to remind with pleasure our great success of last year's, uh, the success that we had with the decarbonization path, an event program of, um, that was dealing mostly with carbon capture, utilization and storage and other decarbonization techniques. This, um, this path had a big success, not only in Italy and followers, not only in Italy, but also in Europe and even abroad. So um, we would like to relaunch this, uh, this experience and we are presenting today the 2022 program, who will deal mostly with energy transition. Uh, we still have four events. The first one is going to be an introductory, an introductory event that summarizes our point of view and the analytical cut that we want to give. So the title is going to be Macroeconomic Update and Competences Transition. This is going to be very, very soon on the 25th of January. Don't miss this event. Then we are going to have three events, one in March 2022, one in May 2022, and one in September 22, 2022, mostly focused on the technologies we have selected and we in um, and between all the horizon of the new technologies we have selected three topics one is disruptive technologies so, uh, so something really new that can change somehow the, the scenario and the energy mix the revaluation of the asset included of course upstream assets and then finally energy and any energy currency in this slide, we can find all the details regarding the, the first event um, and the first episode. Indeed, uh, in particularly, we would like to, to show our point of view that says that energy, energy scenarios are nowadays more or less agree. So we need to reach net zero. The point is not if we have to reach it or not. Uh, but how to reach this is really very, is very complex. Indeed, very few countries are planning to, to reach it by 2050. So our open questions and the question in which we as engineers would like to give an, a contribution is how to increase the pace, the pace of the energy transition. So we would like to have a, very, a focus very clear and very, very, and very practical. And now I would like to give you an idea of who are going to be the voices of our first events. So here you can find the agenda with a welcome uh, introduction by our chairperson, Paolo Carnevale, and then, um, and then uh, the contribution of three experts. Um, in particular, uh, Professor Davide Tabarelli, chairperson and founder of Nenomisma Energy, Professor Laura Mazza, who has many very interesting uh, roles and uh, in particular she's also the secretary of the Mediterranean Parliament and then um, Professor Valentina Socco from Politecnico di Torino who will give us an overview or of how the, the skills and competences are, 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 are changing in order to face this energy disruption. In this slide, you have, um, the, the, uh, you have all the details of all the program. So we have already mentioned uh, all the, um, the agenda of our first episode. And regarding the second episode on the disruptive technologies, we would like to analyze the role of venture capital as a tool to support the transition and as a tool also to financing the, um, the, the energy transition. And then uh, some new technologies um, like micronuclear, as we know, the, the announcement on micronuclear was very, um, was very recent, or maybe some renewables that are not very known by, by everyone, like tidal or waste. 
um, our, our stakeholders in this event are going to be R&D departments, venture capital funds, innovative projects, and startups. Our third episode is going to be on the revaluation of assets. The main character is going to be the geothermal energy, but we're going to deal also on the commissioning of upstream assets and integrated energy systems like biorefineries. Our last and final event is gonna deal with energy storage and new energy careers. So from one side, it is um, towards the energy transition, it's very important to talk about electrification. And when we talk about electrification, um, a very important point is how to storage this energy. And so uh, how can we make our batteries better? or also how can we ensure the security of supply of the raw materials of which the batteries are done, like lithium, copper, and other hearts. hearts. And then finally, we are used to hydrocarbon fuels, but nowadays we can also deal with alternative fuels like hydrogen and ammonia. And here, the, the speakers are going to be industry experts, foundation, or research. Finally, in this last slide, we will, I would like to introduce all the people who are part of our decarbonization and energy transition committee, uh, who are all wonderful experts of the energy industry. And I really would like to thank all of, of all of them for this uh, to, to this work, for this work, and I really hope that you will enjoy the our um, our events. So thanks a lot for um, for your attention. I hope we will see you on the 25th of January, where there is going to be our first episode. And in case you have any questions, you want to cooperate with us, you want to give any contribution, here below you can find all our content, uh, contacts. So from email and our, our social, uh, I hope you're going to have um, a wonderful day.